more, that calamity is coming more and more to America. There's more and more shootings. Uh, there's going to be more and more police killing Jake. And it's going to continue to get worse and worse, man. And it's going to be more propaganda too on these news, on man, these that's media outlets. Spirit, I was thinking that. Yup, that's the spirit, brother. Because uh, they we got they they have more uh, of these so-called immigrants coming, not so-called immigrants coming over here from Syria, man. And you know they're gonna use that as means to uh, basically set up a, a false flag. That's right. Ask yourself this: when you know that the Syrians, the Syrian rebels, are the ones that causing all, causing all this destruction, why would you come on the news saying you're gonna allow them to come over to your country? immediately shut your borders and not care about what people thought. You trying to protect the people. That tells you right there that more than likely there's a false flag coming. And yep. that just shows that the people, the everyday uh, average American man, they so dumbed down on GMO foods and, uh, and all this extra being pumped in to where they, they just so damn stupid. They don't even, that's not even registered. Right. Yeah, they, they not putting two and two together, man. They just yeah. walk around like a bunch of damn zombies and cops yeah. times, man. That's right, that's right man. Right. Especially you Negro, Latinos, and Native Americans, man. Y'all, the uh, grown ass man is worried about, uh, what's, what's that new show, man? Uh, empire. empire, man. Ah, oh, man, that shit's so wet. You grown, you an adult worried about empire, man. You mean where all this calamity is going on in your, in your neighborhoods, man? But our people don't care, man. But when that time comes, you gonna care. You gonna care. That's These right, niggas, man. man. That's right, buddy. Empire. So I'm gonna jump back to verse five. It says his ways are always grievous, and that is that the so-called white man ways are always grievous. It always sounds cool on the outside. Like people that aren't in America, they look at America like this place you can come, you could be a basketball player, you could win a lottery and just own businesses. It, but but when you dig into his ways, everything is grievous. You look at this place like, man, you can come to America, go to Vegas, I'm just gonna have sex with all the women. And you can actually do it. But once it's done, what comes with that? Diseases, oh, you, you lose your family, lose all your money. That's the white man's ways. It looks cool on the outside. But his ways are always grievous. You know, drunk, you lose your wallet, you get a, a victim of identity theft, all type of shit start happening. You might get stuck up by a hooker, you know what I'm saying? She might be setting you up, you know? You never yeah. know what's going on, man. Men getting raped by men. All his ways are grievous. But it looks so good to, the, to that carnal eye. Like, man, I want to go to America. I want to follow the wife. You know, I could be gay. I could do whatever I want to do. Nobody could stop me. Yep. <laughs> now you lying in the bed next to Charlie Sheen. Hey, Charlie. <laughs> hey, if I can say this, brother. You're a free agent in America. They're opening up the, uh, uh, I guess, the borders for people to come over here, man. More and more people are coming over here and getting on Section 8, man. You got people that are immigrants and they coming over here and feeling in tight toe. Nigga, right. this, this is America. I'm supposed to, I'm entitled to this. So they just letting people, uh, they're letting people come over here, come over here and uh, get on and get on these benefits. And who is it killing? It's killing the so-called middle class, man. Yeah, that's right. right. That's going to cause classism in itself, man. Yeah. More, they, more and more they're taking stuff out of your check, man. That's right. And, and if I can say this real quick, we're, what I was talking about was, was the so-called white man's ways. And the scripture says that his ways are always grievous. Now let's read about the most high's ways. First John chapter five, I'm gonna jump straight to verse three. For this is the love of the most high, that we keep his commandments and his commandments are not grievous. To follow after the most high, to follow after Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, that's not grievous at all. You'll live a, a decent life, a healthy life, a clean life. More than likely, you could be disease free. You damn sure ain't gonna be no faggot. So that cuts down on that uh, HIV and AIDS risk right there. You ain't gonna be doing drugs. That cuts down on that AIDS risk right there. You ain't gonna be eating all that nasty ass food. That'll cut out some diseases right there. Adultery. You can keep, as the men, you can keep a little money in your pocket because you ain't gotta buy razors and shave or whatever. Man, <laughs> man. You ain't going to the, the barbershop getting raised up. Mm -hmm. you know? Money on these bras, man. They gonna be under your, uh, under your, under your vibration. That's right. So you ain't gotta go out on all these damn dates and get to get to always buying Ciroc, bitch, or ain't paying for nothing. She always wants the most expensive drink of the damn menu, man. She right. double fisted. Yeah. No, you ain't got to worry about all that. Especially if you follow the way, everything be so much easier if the, if the ways they have to follow were uh, perpetuated on earth, man. And that's how it's gonna be. Right. Okay. Okay. Uh, you had something to do with us? Uh, yeah. This is Nahum, chapter 3, starting at verse 1. 
Woe to the bloody city. It is full of lies and robbery. Right, so woe to the bloody city, man. And what's that bloody city? It's really America, man. It's what, you, when you call yourself, when you're a part of America, you're an American citizen. And it's a bloody city, man. This town was built on the blood, man. They came and slaughtered uh, over 90% of the Native Americans. All right, they put hell on our Latin brothers, kicked them out of the land, out of the southern part of the land, and called them uh, illegal immigrants. Mm. Then they brought uh, the tribe of Judah over here, man. And they commenced to the whiz out, out zipping our ass, man. Mm. Yep. <laughs> One of the, the, the worst captivity in history, man. All the time, we don't even know all the things that the so-called white man did. And this is a very bloody city, man. It's still bloody to this day. It ain't nothing but just robbery and murder. Every time you turn on the news, somebody's getting killed, somebody's getting murdered, somebody's getting stuck up or something, man. Uh, America's bombing somebody. Man. Yeah, or America, yeah, they're bombing somebody. They're shedding blood in other parts of the world. Of the only only nation to drop a big, a damn uh, hydrogen bomb. You know? The only person that has to use nuclear capability. But then they want to police everybody else. They get you the only one to bomb somebody. That's right, that's right. No, how much? That's America's a, a hypocritical nation, man. And this nation will be paid back for all this iniquity. That's right. Go ahead, The prey departeth not. The noise of a whip, and the noise of the rattling of the wheels, and of the prancing horses, and the jumping chariots. The horsemen lifteth up both bright sword and glittering spear. And there is a multitude of slain. Right, and the, man, let's talk about the nuclear missiles, man. That glitter and spirit, that's, that's the ICBM missile, man, that's coming for America. And he said that said it what about the slain, said the camera? Oh, come on, brother. I'm going to start it first three. The horsemen lifted up. It's a lot. The horsemen lifted up both bright sword and glittering spear. And there is a multitude of slain. Right, there's going to be a multitude of slain, man. The Lord got a lot of killing to do, especially in America, man. Yep. There's going to be a lot of dead bodies here, man. Yep. Like the scriptures say in Revelation, it's, it's going to be so much blood, it's metaphorically speaking. It's going to be up to a, a horse's bridle, man. That's, that's a lot of dead people, man. That's a scary sight, man, to see everybody dropping dead around you, man. Well, you may be just missing the bullet or just getting out of a crazy situation. It just seems dead bodies all over the place, man. It's going to stink. Yeah. It, it's gonna be it's gonna be a terrible situation, man. Yeah. You're, you're really not gonna be able to fathom it, man. Yeah, I'm seeing a decomposed dead body, mm -hmm. smelling it, man. That's that gives you nightmares, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I can only imagine. I mean, we can only imagine. We, we haven't seen anything like that, man. Uh -huh. You know. Yeah, that's right. Whatever. Uh, I'll do Psalm 75 and 4. I say it unto the fools. Deal not foolishly. Right. So we say it unto the fools, man. The scripture say uh, also in the psalm, the fool has said his heart, there is no God, man. The ultimate fool is the so-called white man. And so we're saying here, don't deal fools, man, but the so-called white man is going to do it because that's his spirit. Go ahead, bro. And to the wicked, lift not up the horn. Lift not up your horn on high. Speak not with a stiff neck. Right, and that's what the so-called white man does, man. They speak with a stiff, stiff neck. They speak very proudly, man. Even against, they speak lawfully concerning oppression. That's in uh, Psalm 77. Yup. They, they, they have a proud, they have a proud attitude about that, man. And the so-called white man, he loves to talk about what's going to happen in 2025. We're going to be doing all these great things in 2050. <laughs> By 2225, we'll have cars that won't touch the road. He always talks like that. Right. Speaking law. Right. He, he speaks like his kingdom would never fall, man. Like he doesn't have an uh, inkling in his mind that yeah, his, his kingdom is not going down. Sorry. Verse 6. For promotion cometh near, uh, neither from the east, nor from the west, nor from the south, but the Most High is the judge. He puts down one and sets up another. Right, so the Most High is the judge, man. Right. He put it down one and set up, up another, man. So previous earlier when I was uh, speaking about the so-called white man thinking he got this all on the own, man, the Most High did that. Right. It tells you Daniel, he set it up uh, the kingdom with the basis of men. So, and that's what the so and that's what the Most High did, man. He set up this base, this disgusting, nasty-ass being to be over us, man. So I get this job 30 real quick. Job 31. Yeah, man, so he put this, and, and that's what it is, man. The Most High did this to fulfill prophecy, man. That's it. That was just, like I said, that's his only uh, job, so-called white man, to put hell right, on the earth and on the that. nation of Israel, man. And after that, he's going to be destroyed and pay back for what he's going to do. Yeah, okay.
verse 8. For in the hand of Yahweh there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mystery. Right, see how it go? It went from him uh, being proud to what does it lead to? It's talking about that slavery now, man. It's the way that it kind of, kind of. For the hand of Yahweh, for in the hand of Yahweh there is a cup, and the wine is red. It is full of mixture, and he poured out of the same. But the dress thereof, all the wicked of the earth shall bring them out and drink them. Right, and so the so-called white man's gonna drink the dregs. Now we know if you drink like beer, you can tell that dregs. That's that, that, that's that, that's some suds. It's all warm. Backwash. 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 And if you're hella drunk, you might even put a little bit of uh, tequila back in it or something like oh, wow. that, man. Have a cigarette butt in it. Yeah, all the time the white man's gonna drink. <laughs> you know what <laughs> You know, but that, that's what's gonna happen. We're gonna, we gonna ring that out, man. Alright, we're gonna, we gonna get our finger in there, get that last little bit. We're gonna make we gonna make you drink all that shit, man. Why? Because of what you did to Lord's people, man. Hey, we, you know how old school they put a little water in there, mix it up, just get all of that. That's oh yeah. We're gonna put a little water, mix it up in it so you can get all of that good stuff. Yeah, yeah. We'll shake shake it up. Are you gonna catch up, man? So, so called white men's gonna get it, but it's rightfully so, man. Man, the real, people, man. You know? Yeah. Hey, hey, hey brother, you. Hey, I'm sorry. No. Man, this this man is the only person, the only group of people on planet Earth that actually extinct another group of people, man. The Aborigines, they they breaded them out, man. Like, the Aborigines had coarse hair. Now, that just means like uh, the indigenous people. But they use that term when they're speaking about the people of Australia, man. Yeah. They literally killed all those people off, man, and breaded them out, man. Basically, like now, if you look at the Aboriginal, you got real uh, long, stringy hair like a white person, man. Prior to that, what type of hair? Yeah, yeah, coarse hair like us. Man. They literally killed all those people, man, and breaded them out, man. That's a so called white man. Tripping. And, and if Mosai would have allowed it, he would have done that to these people on his side, man. But only because of prophecy and his promise God, that the yeah. so-called white man wasn't able to weed, get us out, man. Yep. Get rid of us, man. Mosai multiplied us as the sands of the sea. Because yep. if not, the, the, the Esau would have took our ass out a long time ago. Yep. This is Job, chapter 30, starting at verse 1. But now they that are younger, then I have me in derision. Right. Now, what does that mean? They're younger than I. That means the so-called white man came out of the waters of Judah because the so-called Negro was here first. So they came out of uh, East uh, Jacob. So that makes that makes them younger than us, man. Remember? Whose fathers I would have disdain to have set with dogs of my flock. We wouldn't even let him sit by the dogs of the flock, man. They're so filthy and nasty, man. <laughs> They'll give your dogs lice. Try to pop dogs. the dogs. <laughs> yeah, they have sex with them. Yeah, if they had a jar of peanut butter, I ain't no telling what they do with that dog, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Hey, yo, this so Very low, man. Hey, that's, hey, man, I went to school with uh, some white people, man. I, I remember people, like, actually telling me, give them, telling me stories about that. Their younger brother's doing that, man. Mm -hmm. Put peanut, uh, uh, peanut butter on their penises and let the dog lick, lick it off. Man. Yeah, oh, come on. This one yeah, dude man. I used to play it football with. For real, man. This one dude I used to play football with, he was good, actually. He was a center. And it was our senior year. Um, so we was counting on him to come back to, to spring, spring training, right? So these cats went to this dude's house and popped in the tape. And they, they thought that they was, uh, it was uh, 